Hey there, it's Sarah Ayler with softlookscompany.com. I had a really great time this week doing a live beading party with an old friend of mine who owns a bead store in Vienna, Virginia. And uh, her name is Kay Goss, and she uh, owns and runs Stars Beads and then are also Stars Clasps. And we did a product swap this week. So I sent her our Hocus Pocus design kit, which you can see a video with the reveal of that uh, probably from last week, I think. And she sent me these really cool metal findings. They have a coating on them that give them just a beautiful rainbow effect. They're double-sided, this side being really shiny, and then this side having a little bit more of a design to it. Um, and they're just gorgeous. You can get these from Kay by messaging her through the Stars Beads Facebook page or go to their website and you can click on um, their contact us information and send them a message. They have a ton of different shapes. Uh, there's just a few here uh, to look at. There's, of course, that beautiful piece there. These ones here. I didn't get a chance to use them on the show um, on Facebook, and so I decided I would make something with one of them here today, and I decided I'm going to use this round disc. So I think it's just super nice. Um, your design can be double-sided too, so that's one nice thing to think about is you could wear it, you know, either direction depending on how you're feeling that day. So it matches our new Hocus Pocus bead strand like perfectly. Uh, so I decided I'm going to incorporate it in with the disc. And, um, and then she also sent some fire polish beads that I'm going to maybe use in here as well. On Facebook this week, I used some of the other beads that she sent me, these really cool sort of like cornflake copper pieces and made a stretch bracelet because the daily challenge, the joyful beading challenge for Wednesday was stretch magic. So I kind of did two birds with one stone. I did my video uh, with Kay, and then I also got in my joyful beading challenge for the day. We have brought back the uh, joyful beading challenges. We know the month of October is just going to be a really hard month. There's a lot of things going on in the news and in the world. And then I think there's just a lot of fatigue with COVID and also a lot of people getting sick again and a lot of people quarantining again. So as we move into fall, we decided it was time to uh, head back to our daily joyful beating challenges to de-stress and just find a little piece of your day to make something and feel good about it. Uh, maybe tune out some of the stuff that's going on out there and just reconnect with yourself through beading. So there is a challenge every day and we will award a $10 store credit prize every single day um, and it will be randomly picked from one lucky winner. You can enter as many times as you want each day. Uh, obviously, the more designs you post that you make that day, the more entries you have, the more likely you are to win. And um, the store credit will be added to your account. There will be a expiration date. I'm not quite sure what it is at this moment. Uh, but this is all happening in our Softlex VIB Studio group on Facebook. You go to Facebook, join the group. And, um, and yeah, and then you can always visit us at softlexcompany.com. If you're not on Facebook, you can still be doing these prompts and not posting them. Um, there, you know, there's, it's, it's not just about winning $10. It's more the winning of just getting your fingers in your beads on a daily basis and kind of giving yourself some self-love, um, doing something you love to bring a little bit more joy into your life. So I did my 
stretch magic bracelet on Wednesday. I need to get a picture of it. I didn't get it posted in time, but I did do it. And then I made a little pair of matching, cute little matching earrings as well. You can find uh, instructions for those and the live beading party with Kay Goss from Stars Beads on the Facebook page. And then I believe we'll be adding it here on YouTube as well, probably sometime next week. I would assume it will go live here. You can watch it here too. All right, so let's dig in and uh, make this necklace. I'm going to keep it super simple and kind of keep a similar pattern to what uh, they did on this custom strand from Jesse James Beads that you can only find at softflexcompany.com. So I'm just going to kind of release these beads right in order so I can keep track. I may dangle this one from the bottom, so I'm just gonna kind of move that down here and then do the same thing on this side, just kind of release the beads in the same order. We have a great deal this week. We are doing a brand new Halloween mini design kit. It is $14.95 regularly. If your order is over $49 this week, you will get it for free. Um, our mini kits, like our big kits, have everything you need to design jewelry. They will have findings, beads, and um, all you'll need are some tools. And they will just have less than our regular huge design kit. So it's the basics. It's a really great thing um, to do with kids because they are inexpensive. You can get multiples. It's a great way to celebrate Halloween um, without because a lot of us won't be going trick-or-treating this year, you can get a mini kit and make some Halloween jewelry with your little one. Um, that's a really fun activity, especially with them being home so much. So I'm just stringing on a two by two millimeter Softflex crimp tube. These are very thick, very strong crimp tubes, and they're also completely seamless solid tubing. And I'm just going to pick up my metal piece here and pick any hole that you want and just string it through and attach. <clears throat> and you bring it down. You want to make sure you leave enough room that this can kind of wiggle around a little bit, no problem. And I want to get my wires so they're side by side inside the crimp tube. And then I'm going to take my crimping pliers. They have the same little notch on both sides. And this crimp tube slides right into that notch. You can almost feel it when it's sitting down deep inside of the notch. So get it in there and then close down and compress. And if it's right in the center of that notch, the first step will give you what looks like a little four corner square. You're gonna turn it on its side now and you're gonna find that notch again where that crimp tube fits, just right inside of it. But this time you've got your four corner squares are gonna be compressed. So you get those four corner squares like kind of sitting up inside the plier, and then you're gonna compress those down. And then you just go around and around it, compressing down the edge of the, um, crimp tube into the nylon coating of the wire, tightening it down until it looks like a little round bead. I'm gonna use the same trick a few times on this design. So you can, if you need to see it up close again, you can always pause and rewind um, to see it up close. Okay, so next I'm just gonna get a good deal of wire so I know it can make it around the back of my neck on this one side. And I'm just gonna trim off. I always do a little more wire than I probably need when I'm doing a video, just to be real careful that I'm not uh, missing out. I'm gonna do one of these little beads to start. And then I think maybe the metal bead and then the bigger black bead from the bead strands. And then I'm gonna do the beautiful blue crystal. The Hocus Pocus design kit was so pretty. It was dark blues 
and purples and black. Um, so this bead strand is gorgeous. And it's the only thing we have left from the Hocus Pocus materials. They all sold out. But we do have our fun new mini uh, design kit waiting to be used. I'm just going to string right through and see this um, caged bead here. And, oops. The nice thing about having one of these bead strands is sometimes you don't have to do a lot of thinking. You can kind of just let the designers at Jesse James Beads do the thinking for you. They made a beautiful um, design here and I can just turn it over and add my own little spin to it by adding a different center and then maybe doing like a little, little piece down here as well. Okay, so now that I've got this all together, I'm gonna crimp that in place on the wire. I'm gonna grab a crimp out of my crimp box here. And I need a little um, piece of wire. I'm wondering if this will be big enough, this little guy down here that was left over. Probably, so I'm just gonna stick that in there. The crimps will attach better using the magical crimpers if you've got two medium or heavy softlux wires running through them. And so that's why I'm doubling up here. So I get just a little bit more um, nylon coating for that crimp to hold on to. Same thing as below, I'm gonna just kind of butt up against my bead. I'm gonna make sure my crimp tube's in the center and then I'm gonna crimp. The only thing that's different on this end is I'm gonna cut off that extra wire on both ends of the crimp, and that's gonna hold all these beads in place on the wire. Now, if you wanted to beat up the whole back end, you certainly could. Uh, you could do black seed beads, you could do some more of these little black check glass beads that are faceted, they would look really pretty, or you can always just leave your soft flex free floating, um, you don't have to always cover it with beads. And in fact, it can be kind of nice that you have the option not to cover it. Move some of these things to the side so we've got a little more space to work with here. It can be kind of nice that you don't have to cover it. It's nylon coated, so there's no metal exposed to your skin. It's very comfortable on your neck. It feels very soft and smooth. I've never had an issue wearing it. It comes in lots of different colors. I'm using, of course, the black onyx color today, um, but you can get it in different colors as well. Okay, so I'm gonna get a similar sized strand out for my second side here. And another crimp. And I'm thinking right here would be a good place to attach. These things are so nice because they have so many attachment areas and you could do so many different things with them because of that, which is really fun. I'm gonna kind of look at my first connection here to decide how big my second connection should be. And then I will go ahead and crimp again. You can find these magical crimpers right on our website, which is softlexcompany.com. Any of our kits, really, you can get by with usually using just a pair of cutters and a pair of crimpers. And you can make lots and lots of designs. We have our fall masterpiece full design kit still available. I think it's about 50 or 60% sold out. They usually sell out before the reveal date and our next reveal date is the last Wednesday of October. Um, I forget what exact date that is. So if you want to join us for the full size design kit, make sure you get your order in soon um, so you can grab one of those. It's based off of Georgia O'Keeffe. Um, some of her paintings that are in a fall motif for fall coloring, we use them as our inspiration uh, for creating 
the kit. It's really, really elegant, very beautiful. And we've already been hearing a lot of great feedback from our designers that buy it regularly. So that's been nice. I've been seeing a lot of people are buying the large design kit, the fall masterpiece. And then they've also been um, getting the a bead strand like this. There's a fall masterpiece bead strand as well, or getting the um, hocus pocus bead strand and getting over that $49 mark so that they can get their free mini Halloween kit too which is nice to so get both. I'm gonna make sure I'm going right through the center on this so that it sits nicely like the other one. And just a few more beads. And I'll crimp it down. And I think I did one little black bead on the end here. So those, these were the only ones that were not on the Hocus Pocus um, bead strand. And they're just little like four millimeter black fire polish beads that I added on the ends. Totally not necessary if you wanted to make something similar. You could do it without them. And again, I'm going to need a little piece of soft flex to be kind of a dummy strand inside of my crimp. And I'm just going to pull that crimp down to the beads. I'm going to repeat what I did on the first side. Bringing it nice and close, making my four corner ravioli and then Compressing in and around the whole thing, tightening it all down into a bead. Our crimps come in multiple different metals. This is the sterling silver, but we also have them in gold filled, copper, and black oxidized, which could be really cool with this design too. You want to be really careful when you're doing your dummy wire that you don't accidentally cut the wrong wire. <laughs> so take your time and be very careful about it. Okay, so I'm going to add a clasp in the back end. Let me grab a clasp out. I'm thinking about using just one of these hook, hook and eye clasps that we have from Tierra Cast. They're really cute. They come in lots of different metal tones as well. You can find them on our website too. I'm gonna hook that onto the back here using crimps. So let me pull this up and see what length I think is gonna work. I'm gonna crimp about here. So I need a crimp, of course. Still using the same size two by two millimeter crimp tubes the whole way through. And that's the only size that will work with these magical crimpers. And string on part of my clasp and then go back into my crimp tube. Pull that fairly snug, but make sure it can move around just like where you attached at the bottom. That flexibility is important. And then I'm gonna find the center and crimp again. There are many different types of crimping pliers on the market. I love these because they just look so nice when they're done, like little round finished beads. You could also use regular crimping pliers um, if you don't mind it looking like a tube. You can also add a crimp cover, which is kind of nice and looks nice as well. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We'll have the necklace portion done and then we can just embellish the bottom to add um, further detail. So I'm just pulling from down here up in order to get the same spot on the second wire 
So it's about even on both sides. You can see I used way too much wire, <laughs> but I'm always nervous that I won't have enough, um, enough wire to finish my design. <laughs> Sometimes mid-design, you might decide you want it to be something longer um, or shorter. It's always hard to tell, so always pretty. And same thing here, I'm gonna kind of eye out both ends because I want them to look pretty similar, like they go together because they will be going together. All right, there we go. Now you could totally stop here. You've got your full design ready to go, but I'm just gonna add one little piece down here at the bottom, I think, with this fun purple boho bead that was in the middle of the strand and maybe a couple of black pieces. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna make a head pin using my soft flex. So I'm gonna take another one of those two by two millimeter crimp tubes. I'm gonna double it over into my crimp. Cause like I said, you need two wires for it to hold well. I'm going to go ahead and crimp it down into that nylon coating, nice and tight. And then I'm gonna trim off just underneath that uh, crimp. Slide this in, and then what I've got is basically like a head pin. I've got a crimp that's really nice and strong on the end of the wire, and then I can string my beads right onto my Softflex head pin. Trying to decide if I want a black bead on top. I think I kind of like it. Yeah, I do. And then one more crimp and we'll be done. So now I'm gonna take my crimp tube onto my wire and find that bottom center in the piece from Stars Beads. Stars Beads is a full-fledged bead store in Vienna, Virginia. I think you can go in right now by appointment only if you need to stop in. Um, but Kay does a lot of live videos and things right on her Stars Beads Facebook page too. So you can check her out there. And as always, Softlix always likes to say, support your local bead store especially at a time like this, those local bead stores are so important to the survival of our hobby and um, they need our assistance right now, big time, to make sure that they stay in business and that you have a place where you can go in eventually and be able to touch and feel beads, and look at them and take classes. They're really, really, really important. So make sure you're out there supporting your local bead store wherever it happens to be. I'm just gonna trim off my wire. Ta-da! We have a beautiful, fun necklace using our Hocus Pocus bead strand, which you can find on the website now. And, um, and very few other beads. I mean, I mostly just used that bead strand with some fun check glass beads that I got from my friend Kay Goss over at Stars Beads. So go check out Stars Beads. It's their website, starsbeads.com. You can find them on Facebook as well. And they have been inspiring minds for over 20 years. Um, and they're a small family owned business and just wonderful people. So we're glad we got to support them through our live beading party. Hopefully you'll check that out maybe sometime next week when we post it. And I hope you enjoyed this design. If you did, please 
give us a thumbs up, click to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more tutorials just like this one um, from my friend Kristen and my friend James here at Softflex Company. And then of course, I'm here just about every Saturday with a new tutorial for you here on YouTube. Thank you for joining me. You can find all the materials that I used here today on our website, which is softlexcompany.com.